today's topic is conditional proof it is nothing but cp rule it is it will be mentioned in the question use your cp rule so what is our cp rule this is the last topic so cp rule what is the rule for cp rule means whatever the conclusion given okay this is our conclusion given okay we can apply in this for example the cp rule suppose in the conclusion it is okay this is example only i am not exactly saying okay suppose a is condition on b it is given in the question this only we have to prove it means so cp rule how we can prove it means a I have to take as a additional premises a as a additional premises we have to take it we can prove the conclusion to be b can prove the conclusion to be again you apply okay b only but i have it again i can replace it a is condition to b it is called as a cp rule okay yeah, this is our cp rule for example okay so now uh, according to our question p is condition on q condition on s is the question given so the left hand side it is nothing but p have to take it to be additional premises p have to take it to be a additional premises we have to take it given p have to take it to be additional premises we have to take it then you have to prove to be q condition on s is the conclusion you have to bring after a conclusion we one more step we can write it again the same this question we can write it as per the cp rule you can write it p condition on q condition on s using cp rule like that you can write one more step this is called as uh, the uh, cp rule now we'll go with the problem directly i have written the table format step number statement is an so one by one i will introduce first i will forget this p is additional premises i will forget no so starting itself i will introduce it p mention it is a p rule additionally we are taking okay next i can introduce this first premises p is condition to q condition on r okay so it's a p rule now we check pp get cancel it is nothing but modus ponens by a 1 and 2 it's nothing but modus ponens we can write q condition on r okay so next step i can write when condition given itself you can apply equivalence so you know this equivalence on condition so what it it is it's nothing but some a is condition to b means i can write it is nothing but how can i write it means the same variable the first variable negation a this section to b okay so that only i'm going to update it is called as equivalence negation q this section to r it is by step 3 it is called as equivalence so applied one more uh, premises is there that also i will introduce it q condition on r condition on s yes, it's a p rule okay we are taking the p rule now in this also again same thing this equivalence i can i will apply it okay so negation q this section on r condition on s yes. it is by a step 5 it is called as equivalence you check now you check uh, some other color i will use now i will get confusion for that green so, again i will put green okay now you check 
step 4 you check uh, step 4 i have negation q same thing negation so when i have it like this same variable in the left hand side or right hand side i can apply it it's called as a distributed law i can combine this and write okay so that only i'm going to write it it's nothing but negation q as it is restriction symbol as it is but this r and this i can combine and write it is a condition so r condition to yes it's called as the distributed law so four and six is called as a distributive because bracket two brackets so it is called distributive law and when i join and write it's called congestion that also you can write it's not wrong congestion okay so completed now you check anything i can do it by seventh step so check it so negation q by 7 s yes, yes i can write r r get cancelled correct huh? same variable when you have it is uh, get cancelled negation q uh, decision over only yes so it is by modus bonus r r get cancelled but in a single equation itself in this only it's coming like that actually modus bonus means how will you solve by previous step and this pp get cancelled like that only we have done okay in this this rr get cancelled you are getting this okay so it is modus bonus now again it is congestion symbol means the same way i can write it the congestion this side it is now available i can write it in form of equivalence same condition i can write it so same thing this is given now this is given in the step 8 Step 8. I need to write this left hand side. So it is nothing but Q, correct? Now, first variable Q condition on yes. It is by step 8 equivalence. Now you check P is additional premises we have taken. Conclusion we have to prove Q condition on yes. Yes, we have conclusion. We have bought it. But I am not going to leave as it is. Again by CP rule. By CP rule. By ninth. Okay. From this only. Ninth step. By CP rule. I can rechange and write. Okay. P is condition to. Q is condition to. Yes. Okay. So I can change. That is called as the CP rule. So this is the way we have to prove it for a CP rule. So one more question. It is a valid statement I will take so that uh, you can understand clearly. CP rule it is mentioned but the theorem statement has been given. Some story has been given. We, we need to denote the notation for that. Then we have to proceed. Read the question once then only you denote. Father price a Raja only if a Raja can be proud of himself. Either Raja do well in a sports or Raja cannot be a proud of himself. If study hard, then Raja cannot do well in the sports. Therefore, if therefore itself, that is your conclusion. If a father price a Raja, then Raja do not study well. So, how many parameters are there? First, we will take. If a father price Raja, one parameter, he is proud of himself, second parameter. He do well in the sports, third parameter. Uh, Raja study hard. Okay, four parameters only. So, remaining everything, it repeats only. You take the question, it's, it's repeat. First, that corresponding parameter, you write. Okay, we will write with the parameter. It may be A, B, C, small letter only, it's a rule to write. Okay, you can write it in any small letter in the English alphabet. So, I will write it. Already P, Q, yes, only we are repeatedly using. And now, I will use A, B, C, D. It's not wrong. Any small letter, you do not it. So, from the given question itself, father. Prices Raja. P. Raja can be proud of himself. Raja. Can be. Proud of. Himself. C. Raja do well in the sports.
Raja study hard. Parameter fixed. Now given question premises and all we need to write first. So what are all the premises given in the question? And conclusion part, what is the conclusion given that also we need to write. Okay. Given premises one by one we will write. Father price Raja means the notation is A. A. If Raja can be proud of himself. So it is if means it is then. Okay. Then Raja proud means B. Okay, this is given. Next, either Raja do well in a sports. Okay, either Raja do well in a sports means C. R, R means destruction symbol. Cannot be proud of himself. Okay, cannot be proud means opposite negation of B. Next, it has been given. If he study hard, it's nothing but D. Then, okay, Raja cannot do well in a sports. So, negation C. So, this is the question given. Conclusion is father price Raja. Price Raja means A is condition 2. Then Raja did not study hard. So, it is negation B. So, these are the parameters given in the question. Okay. So, what is the rule for CP rule? Now, in this the CP rule, the conclusion part we have to take in the left hand side. What is our CP rule? It has been mentioned, it is a CP rule. In the conclusion part, left hand side, we have to take A as additional premises. A as additional premises, we have to take it. And we have to prove negation D in the conclusion. Then finally, apply a CP rule. We can write A is condition to negation D using CP rule. So, like this you have to bring it. So, we will write it in a table format. Only some concept you understand means remaining everything will be easy. Posting it is not visible so, so bad. Step number, statement, and reason. Step number, statement, reason. So, yes, one by one, I will introduce the premises. First, I need the question. Ah, okay. So, now, first, I will forget A as additional premises. First, I will introduce that A as a additional premises. Starting itself, we introduce. You will, you may forget it. Okay. So after that, whatever we need, we can apply it. Okay. First, first premises I will take A is a condition to B. It's a P rule. Okay. So now check it. When I cancel A, I will get B by step 1 and 2. It's called monus bonus. Okay. Fourth step apply one more premises. I will introduce it. C is uh, this section 2 negation B, P rule. Okay. Now, equivalence rule. When I have this section itself, you have to think it is equivalence rule only. Equivalence, what I do, I will get to simplify that only. You have to think it. So, negation B, what I am going to take? Uh, this section symbol means condition, I will change it. Condition means it will be helpful for my cancellation. So, condition rule, what is this? It is called by step 4. So, equivalence rule. What is the equivalence rule I am going to use? When you have A is condition on negation B, then I can write it as what I can write. Okay. So, I will 
uh, right negation of a is uh, condition to negation b this uh, this as it is okay so negation only i have to take and condition so now as per our thing it is same thing only parameter will change so according to this now when i write negation c condition to negation b okay correct uh, by 4 it is equivalent so yes correct okay so next step i think uh, anything i can cancel not able to cancel anything b b get cancel no. Again, one more time, I know the negation or not, so that I can apply it, okay. So, fourth uh, by step 5, uh, step 5, it is again equivalence rule, I will apply it. Equivalence rule, I will apply it. It is nothing but negation symbol, I will remove on right. When I remove on right, okay, we have negation A, condition on negation B, it's same as B is condition to A, okay. So, B is condition to C now. Okay. So, that is also equivalence rule only that I have written. Now, you check this uh, step 3 and step 6, B, B get cancelled. Right, huh? So, you will be getting C. It is nothing but step 3 and 6 is called modus bonus. In the mind itself, you have to have. I will introduce one more variable. Okay. P is condition on negation C. Okay. So P rule. Okay. P is condition on negation. That uh, I have applied. Again, one more time I will apply in this uh, negation. So I will change and write. It's nothing but P is condition on negation D. By step 8, it is equivalence property. The same this. Till we bring, we have to bring it. Okay. So, yes. After this, you check it. So, C is condition on. Why the reason? Now, step 7 and 9, you check. Get cancel. So, you will be getting negation D. It's a modus bonus. Step 7 and 9 is modus bonus. Our conclusion, negation D only is proved. So, now I can write A is condition to negation D by CP rule. By 9th step, 10th step CP rule. So, complete. So, this is the way I have to complete. So, thank you.